So Beyond Reasonable Doubt, which is produced for, for BBC, Five Live. Um, it's based on the same story as The Staircase, which is on Netflix. Um, two set, completely separate productions, taking slightly different angles on the same story. That was a big success. So True Crime continues to do incredibly well. The interview format, which we're seeing more and more of, and we always kind of speak to clients now, and we talk to them who want to do this kind of roundtable discussion, and we say, you've, you know, you've really got to have something different about what you're going to say. You know, we have to have a specific angle, because there's so many podcasts out there you know, people sat around talking to their friends about all kinds of things. What is it that you're bringing that's different? So, you know, um, we produced Dan Wooten for The Sun and you know, he's able to bring A-list celebrity talent, you know, like One Direction and Simon Cowell and James Corden. That's what people want to listen to. Or if you're James O'Brien or Joe Rogan, you have a very specific and strong interview technique. So it's all about what is it that you're bringing that's different because there's, there's over half a million podcasts out there on iTunes and what are you going to do to get people to listen to yours? Sport does incredibly well, especially around tournament time. So during the World Cup or Tour de France, there's tons of sport podcasts. Again, kind of going back to what I said around there's so, there's so many people sat around a table talking about something. Sport is a classic example of that. You know, how many more football podcasts can there be? Again, you know, there's probably, about, there's probably hundreds on Arsenal alone. So again, what is it that would be different? Um, that Peter Crouch podcast, the BBC, was one of the most successful of the past year or so. They're just about to start their second series. Um, and again, I think that's a really good combination of a really well-known footballer, but he's kind of at the end of his career, happy to talk about all the stories. He's not afraid of you know, saying something he shouldn't, but combined with two, you know, two people who've been put there for a reason. You've got Chris Stark, who is a Radio 1 DJ and brings the entertainment factor. And then you've got the kind of chief football correspondent for the BBC who's able to, who wrote Crouch's book with him, who has that rapport. So, you know, again, it's, it's, it's really clever casting and they sound great together. Comedy also does very well. My dad wrote a porno. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know about my dad wrote a porno. It's a huge success. Um, you know, over 100 million downloads um, and has been going for a while. Like I said, Ricky Gervais got his new series out. So again, I think comedy is an area where there's a lot more to explore um, in podcasting. I think we're kind of getting, we're going to see a lot more from, from that genre. But yeah, the Ron Burgundy podcast was re recently released, which is quite funny as well.